the last thing we're going to do for produce stock soups and sauces is make a mushroom consomme. So a mushroom consomme is a very clear liquid broth, flavoured broth, which is we're using chicken stock, and then we're flavouring it with a whole heap of array of mushrooms. Then we're going to create what we know or refer to in the industry as a raft. Now a raft is specific um, means on plus item that we use to um, take out the impurities of a consomme. And a consomme is a very, very clear looking soup. So it, we need to be really careful in the processes of what we do. So the first thing that we're going to do, of oh, actually, I'll just run through ingredients very quickly. We've got some wild mushrooms here, some dried wild mushrooms, and there's a different array of them in there. Then we've got some also some shiitakes. Um, I just want to quickly show you a process. For shiitake mushrooms, we need to be a little bit careful. Usually that stem is really, really hard and a bit chewy. So what we tend to do is take that out and discard it. You don't have to if they've been soaked for a while. However, sometimes they can be a little bit woody and not appealing. Then we're just going to fine dice. You refer to your unit SITHCCC001. All of these precision cutting. Um, one of our wonderful trainers, Daniel, has shown you how to do all of this. All right, so there's my shiitake mushroom component. So shiitake mushroom is um, also known as an Asian mushroom. Asians tend to use it quite a lot in, well, in different styles of cooking, from Japanese to Chinese. Right, so we've got our two types of mushroom. Um, also today we will be flavoring our chicken stock with a whole heap of uh, vegetables and some aromats as well. So in this bowl, I've added an extra ingredient that is different to the recipe and that's just a small amount of leek. So at the moment I've got some brunoise leek, brunoise carrot, brunoise brown onion and brunoise celery. Then in another container, I, another ingredient I added, I had a little bit of parsley and then one garlic clove. So what I'm going to do in a pot, I'm going to put some olive oil and I'm going to start frying these ingredients until slightly browned and caramelized. Once that is all uh, caramelized, I'm going to add my parsley and garlic and cook for a further 30 seconds. I'm not adding my garlic at the same time as all my other ingredients, otherwise it's gonna burn. Then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to then simmer those ingredients for approximately one and a half hours. So all those flavors are going to be imparted into our chicken stock, which is going to be quite amazing. So then what we're going to do in this bowl, I've got some grated carrot, some mushroom, one sprig of thyme, and um, an egg white, and some chicken meat. What I'll do is I'm going to finely dice my thyme and then I'm going to mix all of those ingredients together. Now these are the ingredients for my raft. So a raft is something that is going to take out all impurities from my liquid stock and make it really clear like water. And that's a really, I suppose, critical control point and one of the most appealing and um, things that we need. It needs to look, it's a flavoured water that's served warm. So this, the egg, what happens, the egg starts coagulating as we're cooking it and starts hanging on to those impurities and bringing them to the surface of our stock. And that's called the raft. But we'll take you step by step through that as we go along. First, let's infuse our stock. So olive oil, approximately a tablespoon, give or take. So a tablespoon in Australia measurement is 15 mils. You want your flame on a medium-high flame. 
not too much higher, otherwise you're not going to caramelize your vegetables, you're going to burn your vegetables, which is not what we want. All right, so as you can see, all my wonderful ingredients, we'll just go through them again. Shiitake mushrooms, dried wild mushrooms, celery, brown onion, carry, carrot, leek, brunoise, finely diced, uh, finely diced garlic, and some chiffonaded parsley. Bring your pot to heat. All of these now can go together. All right, so all my ingredients, but minus my parsley and garlic into the pot. We're going to fry them for approximately, give or take, depending on how high your heat is. Um, so it's gonna be more of a visual thing, but I reckon approximately four to five minutes. All right, at this point, I'm gonna add my garlic and parsley and only cook it for another 30 seconds or so. You'll start finding as soon as you put the garlic into the hot pan, you can smell it. We're in our chicken stock. Like so. So now we bring it to the boil and then we reduce the heat to a simmer and we're going to cook it for approximately one hour to infuse all of those mushrooms into our chicken stock. Then we can do the next step. So now I'm going to strain my mushroom consomme. Quite simply, fine mesh chinois. Pour in your stock. Like so. Get allowed to sit for a little bit and allow to cool to room temperature before we go on to the next step. To finish our mushroom consomme, I've cooled our consomme down and I have all our ingredients. What I'm going to do is add all the ingredients into our chicken stock. Like so. Move around. Now, we need to place this on a medium heat. So the process of what we do now is bring this up to a very, very gentle simmer. And then we cook it for 30 minutes. <coughs> we should only just see the surface just bubbling. If it bubbles anymore, you're not going to be able to clarify it properly and it's still going to be a lot of impurity. So you have to do it really slowly. So with the raft, once it starts coming to the simmer, we want it to happen really gently. So make sure you don't mix it in any way, shape or form. And because we want it slightly gentler, don't cover it on the whole flame. I'm putting it just slightly to the side. All right, so now my consomme has been simmering very lightly for the next last 30 minutes. So now what I need to do is very carefully with a slotted spoon is start removing the raft really carefully. You don't want to mix it just literally putting your spoon in, lifting up really gently. Sip with a chuck. So I'm just lightly wetting the chucks because it's going to be easier to sit into my jug and then lining that in. It's going to be um, it's going to get rid of our impurities a lot better. So now we just pour our consomme very gently in. Yeah. 
but as you can see, that's a very expensive soup. All the garnishes that we have used to flavor the soup have barely given us 700 mils of end product and we've got no filling. It's just the clear soup. So you find that consommes are only done in fine dining establishments. It's a huge cost. All right. Now, as we can see, there's a bit of fat on top. So what I would do now, I would set that in the fridge and then I can remove that fat once my consomme is 100% cold. Then lightly reheat my consomme and then serve it. 